Making a call for the only trading game in America that's airing on TV. Joining us now, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with our trader game to call Top That Trade. Round number one, deficit drama. The trade deficit with China is hitting an all-time high. What will this mean? Uh, number one is because the dollar's holding. Um, it did dip a little bit here for a couple weeks, but now it's it's holding strong. But that's been the, one of the main reasons uh, for this deficit in trade, I think. I, I think so, too. But, I mean, obviously, it's been out of balance for some time. A lot of it's the dollar, but a lot of it has been our policies that have allowed a lot of manufacturing jobs to go overseas. But that's changing. We saw our manufacturing data here in the U.S. hit a 14-year high. Uh, that means more of those jobs are coming back. And people that said that manufacturing was dead in the United States have been dead wrong. We are service economy, but let's not have that discussion here today. I think part of the equation is this, that Americans don't save. With interest rates very low, we spend our money. What do we spend our money on? We are a global leader in growth, so we've got more money than a lot of other economies, so we're buying their goods that they're shipping here. That's just how it works. And then maybe we should buy some that they make here as well. What the heck? Round number two, name change. There is a shakeup underway, and it means that some stocks will now be considered tech. Is this a positive or negative? Is it rose by any other names? Is Smell it any different? Is it the Dewey Decimal System? I, know, I guess what so. Sort of, there's a classification for, for tech companies. Tech companies that are not really tech, or at least use technology, but can't be right. considered drivers of technology. And they're trying to separate those companies to make it easier for hedge funds investors so to invest Facebook, in. So Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google are not tech companies, well, according not, to the classification. Also, right, and they're calling them communication companies, like right. traditional communication companies like cable TV or newspapers or television. So where would Encyclopedia Britannica that, go? I would say that it would go into, I'd have to Google that. But basically, what you would say, though, but they threw PayPal into that classification. How do you say I pay, PayPal isn't a communication company? Are they? They're more of a financial service company. Why don't so you don't PayPal me some money and I'll tell I you? I think we're going to have to separate it again. We're going to have all to right. separate it again. So, but does, any, but does anybody win? I think Apple's a big winner. You know me, Apple's a winner all the time. And round number three, Dr. Copper. Selling copper has become popular in the market. But what is on your minds with metals? Copper. I was wrong. I said back in June and July that I thought copper was going to break out. It was trading between 3 and 325, looking forward to make a move up. Did not. Blew through that bottom, and it's been lookout below. So uh, I like the fact the way that it's bottomed out. I like the fact that people are getting very, very negative, more negative. So that's usually how a bottom gets put in. I would play it with Freeport McMoran, but a couple of things didn't happen. They were expecting some labor unrest in some of the mines in Chile, uh -huh. and that didn't happen. Didn't happen. They, they were just settled. But, you know... Did they I, I love when Al admits he's wrong, but I have to defend him on this because I think the short-term move, I am with you, <laughs> and I think the short-term move on copper really has happened for the wrong reasons. People have been worried about the trade war. They think it's going to slow down the demand for copper. Uh, and, and, of course, all of a sudden, you know, we, we thought supplies of copper were rising. But guess what, folks? That's not happening. On your bonus round question for today, and it has to do with September song. September morn. Yes, Phil, we're already off to a good start with you. Can you name the phony song or are all of these songs real songs? September, September Morn, and Wake Me Up When September Ends. I would say the middle one, September. I say all of the above. Ellen, you win this week. Absolutely. September Morn, Neil Diamond saying, of course, September Earth, Wind, and Fire. And wake me up when September ends, Green Day. Thanks, guys, for being on the show. Ooh, there we go. We have to go, go. Business First AM continues right after this. I know how she thinks. Well, we're in tune. September. We are in.